Hello class, um, I thought I'd quickly uh, put together a real quick video um, to talk about how to do uh, SOAP clients in, in uh, Visual Studio 2012. I know a couple of you have uh, struggled with this and hopefully this uh, clarifies it uh, quickly for you. So uh, for starters, it is really, really straightforward. Um, and the fact that uh, it's uh, straightforward, I think, makes it in to a degree uh, very easy to consume uh, soap services. So first things first, let's um, this is the soap service I'm going to be using. This is the same service that I used in the Eclipse um, uh, example. And uh, you know I guess the things to note is that you know a few of the um, uh, operations, you know get quote is the operation we're going to be focusing on that's going to actually pull back the uh, quote that we send it. So, um, so we have uh, uh, this picked as our uh, where we can get our wisdom. So let's go ahead and create a new project, and we will let me set the directory correctly, and we'll call this project uh, "Quote Me." Um, and it's a uh, console project, just to keep it really simple and straightforward. And again, this could be done in a GUI app, but that's uh, that requires a little bit more uh, from the code perspective. So what I want to do is I want to be able to instantiate an object that's hosted by the web service, call that object, call a method in that object, get the data back and display it back in the console. So in order to do that, I have to first go into the Solutions Explorer and I gotta add a web reference. So if you click on References and you open them up, you'll see references in, in items to what uh, this project specifically has and we need to add in a web reference. So in Visual uh, Studio 2010 and earlier, you could actually see web reference as part of this dropdown but for some reason it's been hidden in 2012 and I'm not sure exactly sure why. So, so we say add a service reference and then go under advanced and under advanced you'll see add web reference. So click on that and this should be a familiar interface that you've seen before um, and we will paste in um, that web service that I mentioned earlier and let's go ahead and have the system discover it. And once the system discovers the uh, service, it's going to list it here. And also in the description, it says get quote is the method that we want. So, <clears throat> start quote. So let's go ahead and add the reference. And now you see the web reference added. So the next step is let's uh, create an object. Um, so net dot web service x dot www dot stock quote is the class and my quote will be the object of type stock quote um, oops. so there you go I've instantiated a my quote object um, and now what I want to do is I want to be able to um, write out what my quote what my quote um, gets back for me. So there's get quote and uh, let's say MSFT for Microsoft. And let's close this and then we'll just do a console read, read line so that the console doesn't disappear away from us. And that's it. And literally I hit start and it's going to build it, shows a little console with, uh, you know, MSFT as a symbol, you know, Microsoft Corporation. Um, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully that helped you um, clear up some issues. Uh, if not, just let me know and I can uh, dive deeper if need be. Thanks again.